Hasbro has done it. We just got a bunch of pictures going over Hasbro Beyblade X, going from their extreme battle set to their starters to even their Phoenix wing. And of course, we got the pictures while I was sleeping, so it looks like I just woke up. And everything looks incredible. So hit that like button, hit subscribe to join the Nook Nation, and now let's move on to the Hasbro Beyblade X reveal. Let's go ahead and start with the Extreme Battle Set. This is going to come with two different Beyblades. We get Dran Dagger as well as Tusk Mammoth, which kind of looks like Hell's Chain. I think it looks great. I mean, it seems like a Hasbro exclusive so far. Maybe we'll get it for Takara Tomy. But this bay looks nice. I love the tusk motif in the middle. And getting a mammoth Beyblade is really, really nice to me. And I just, I like it. Similar to Hell's Chain, though. And the rest of the set looks awesome as well. Dran Dagger looks pretty much perfect to its Takara Tomy version. It looks almost the exact same, if not the exact same. It looks great. And then we also have the black and green stadium from that one X set that had Dran Sword and Wizard Arrow. This looks great. I would have definitely preferred a clear stadium, but the black and green looks awesome and it fits the color scheme. I will say the stadium definitely looks a little bit shorter. Um, I don't think it's smaller in the play area. At least that's not what I think. It looks to be about the same, but this looks like the shroud is lower down now. So it takes up a little bit less space. Could that be good? Potentially. I'm just worried that the stadium could be smaller in general. It doesn't really look so. And then for the launchers, we're not getting the Takara Tomy starter ones. We're getting kind of the proto ones that came on the Dran Sword kind of entry set for Takara Tomy. Not the greatest of launchers, but um, there is another launcher option I'll show you. And that will be the Winder launcher. Now, I kind of mentioned this in a joke in a in like Discord yesterday that what if they like sell you the good Takara Tomy ripcord launcher? And that's exactly what they're doing. Kind of slimy. I mean, I feel like this should have been included in the set at least. But you have to buy the good Ripcord launcher separately. And it's going to be like 8 bucks or something like that. Uh, kind of sucks. I would have rather have gotten the good launchers with everything. But honestly, the Dakar Tomy Ripcord launchers are launchers that I would pay for. They're really good. Even though this video is about Hasbro Beyblade X, if you want to stay up to date on Takara Tomy Bays, check out Mall of Toys. They have all of the latest Beyblade X stuff up for sale right now, and they also have the Beyblade UX stuff up for pre-order, like Dran Buster, Hell's Hammer, Wizard Rod, etc. So if you want to check out the latest X Bays, go and give them a look. Link in the description down below. And make sure to use code Illinook to save 5% off of your first purchase. And now we can move on to the first starter for Hasbro Beyblade X, and that is Sword X, and that is Sword Dran. And this looks incredible. The box, that's what we'll talk about first, looks like, kind of bland. I mean, I was expecting maybe a little bit more. Um, there's just a lot of space next to the Beyblade that's just very empty feeling to me. And you can only see the real Dran Sword, like half of it. It would have been nice to see the entire thing, um, but the box is okay. It's not amazing, it's not better than Takara Tomy, but it's fine. But the actual bay of Dran Sword looks great. I mean, I don't really see any flaws or any changes from the Takara Tomy one. It looks pretty perfect. And looking at the back of the box, all the parts are the same as Takara Tomy with the 360 ratchet and then the flat bit. And they look to be accurate colors as well, which is great. And we also do see the stats on the back, just like with Beyblade Burst and just like with Takara Tomy, that's not going to change. And now let's move on to the next starter, which is Scythe Incendio, which just like Dran Sword or Sword Dran, gotta get used to that. It has the same exact style of box. There is no random changes. You can only see half of Scythe, which isn't really my favorite, but whatever. But everything looks really good. The parts look good. The detail looks on point. It looks how it is supposed to be. And looking at the back of the box, you see all the different parts. You see the color schemes for everything. And, you know, material worry aside, once again, they nailed this one. Next up, we have Helm Knight, which is the Hasbro version of Knight Helm. And once again, it's going to be kind of a trend. They knocked this one out of the park. The color schemes look good. The motif looks good. Uh, nothing looks odd or cut off or anything. And moving on to the next starter, we have Arrow Wizard, which, big surprise, looks really good. I don't see how they messed this one up at all. It looks pretty perfect to what the Takara Tomy version looks like. Uh, the colors are good. In fact, the yellow might be even more vibrant here for the Hasbro version. 
still kind of sucks that we're getting the kind of crappy proto launcher. And this next one is absolutely huge, and it's also the first Hasbro X thing that I saw, and that is the Deluxe String Launcher set that has Soar Phoenix. The okay, what? Okay, dude, this is this is hype. This is exciting. We have the Soar Phoenix set uh, that comes with Soar Phoenix in all of its painted red glory, as well as a red string launcher. So pretty much right at the launch of Beyblade X, you can get the starters that have kind of the crappy proto launchers. Then if you want the nice winder launcher, you could buy that as well for like seven or eight bucks. Or you can get this Phoenix launcher set that has a red string launcher. You get a ton of options straight away, and the betas looks incredible. Uh, I was kind of worried that maybe they were going to cheap out on the paint or something, or not even paint it, who knows, but they nailed it, and it looks incredible. I also really like how on this one you can see more of Phoenix, like it's kind of a cutout at the very bottom of the box where you see more of the middle of the Beyblade. I kind of wish that they did that for the other starters, or just had them be seen more, but this is perfect. This is a perfect set. And I'm hoping the price on this isn't too extreme because everybody's going to want this Phoenix and everybody's going to want the launcher. And of course, we are getting an official Hasbro Payblade X app. Not really surprised on that, but we don't see any gameplay or we don't know when it's going to be available. But we do know we're getting an app and I'm hoping it's going to be very similar to the Takara Tomi one because that one was just awesome. And with this Hasbro Beyblade news, we also have news on the anime dub, mainly what the new names are or if they changed any of the names of the characters, and we do have some changes. For Bird Kazami, that changes to Robin Kazami. We kind of saw news of that change a little bit earlier. Uh, for X-Cross, we have Jackson Cross. Jackson with an X. That's kind of, that's kind of cool. Jackson Cross. Jackson Cross. Sounds pretty cool to me. For Multi Nana Eero, we have Multi Nana Eero. Just has a little bit of a hyphen there. Okay, they didn't change the name. I'm fine with that. And lastly, they changed Common X, which was the masked version of X, to Blader X, which makes sense. Common is more of like a Japanese word, like masked writer, common writer. I don't really think people would get it here in the States. So Blader X makes sense. It's just maybe a little boring, but hmm. Jackson Cross. I like it. So that is going to be it for the Hasbro Beyblade X news. We have quite an insane drop to talk about and to uh, try and pick these pictures apart and find little details that we may have missed. But for the most part, everything looks the exact same as the Takara Tomy ones. There is the worry about the materials and the durability and quality, etc. But just the way that they battle and the way that they look... I think it's going to be basically the same. And that Tusk Mammoth Beyblade looks cooler every time that I see it. And it's a nice like Hasbro exclusive just to start this entire series off. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like button down below and hit subscribe to be notified whenever I do unboxings and other first looks at Hasbro Beyblade X. I'd very much appreciate it. And thank you for watching. And let me know which of these Hasbro X bays you're most excited for. I'll see you in the next one. Have fun and bay away.